So now, what about something like um, lives and asking questions and all that kind of stuff? So lives is also a global variable that's built in, so I can talk about that. What about questions, though? So basically, I wanted to do one thing if something is true and something else if it's false. So let's see, what should I have it do? I guess I should probably start off having a certain number of lives. So if I go into the bear, I'm going to add a game start, which is under other, for those of you that have been out of it for a while. So I'm going to say lives equals three. Why not? Now, you may remember that you had to do something to make a live show up in the top bar. What was that thing? I forget. So I'm going to go look it up. Lives. Was it show lives? Show lives. OK, so this is that uh, thing that basically says what the um, what shows up in the top bar. So here's the show score, which is already true. Show lives. Notice that there's no parentheses on the end of this. That means this thing is a variable. So I actually have to set it to a particular thing. So I want show lives equals true. You could say one as well. Show lives equals one would do the same thing. So that'll show lives in the top caption. I'm paranoid, so I'm going to go check. Yeah, there's lives. And if I go get some score, the score shows up. Good. OK, so now I need to make it that when I have a collision with the enemy, when the bear has a collision with the diamond, I need to do two things. First thing I need to do is I need to subtract a life. Lives equals lives minus 1. So you know, lives minus equals 1 is equivalent. For those of you that know other programming languages, there is no plus plus or minus minus. OK, and then I should probably restart the room. Hmm, room restart. How does that work? Room was under main 1. Do to do to do to do. Main 1 tab. Sounds. Restart room is room underscore restart, right? Oh, room underscore restart. Open and close parentheses. Semicolon. Technically, the semicolon isn't absolutely necessary. It's it's a way to separate your code. In theory, I could write multiple lines of code all in one line. So this is how I would write multiple commands all in the same line, and the semicolon is what separates them. GameMaker is really lenient, though, so technically you don't need the semicolon, but it's a good idea to put them in at the end of any regular command. I run into the diamond. What happens? I restart. Well, that's cool. Zero lives. Negative one lives. Hmm, I should fix that. Under other, no more lives. All right, here is the magical part where I need to make a decision. So before, when we were doing the control tab and there was all those octagons that were tests, those are basically if statements. If something is true, do one thing. Otherwise, do something else. The overall way this looks is you have an if statement, which has parentheses around something that is either true or false. And then I put braces around the block of code that happens if it's true. Then I put in an else statement if it's false. Now, if I need things to be mutually exclusive, by which I mean it needs to be one or the other thing, but I need more tests, I could in theory have another else if statement here. So that's kind of the complete block of code where if I need to test something, I can put whatever it is I'm testing in the parentheses. 
So if that's true, then do this thing. Otherwise, if that's true, do something else. So obviously that's not exactly right. I wouldn't just say true. I would do some test. So I could say if score is less than 5 or whatever it's going to be. The else if statement is optional. You may not need that. And you can put in more else if statements if you need to test more things. The else statement, it turns out, is also optional. So if you don't need to have what happens if it's not true occur, then just leave it off. So what I'd like to do is, if I run out of lives, I'd like to do the sh uh, message that lets you decide if you want to do play again. And if you do want to play again, restart the whole game, and otherwise just end the game. So how do I do that? Well, let's see. That was under the control tab. Check question is show question. Do you want to do this? Right on. So in place of true, I'm actually going to put that whole command. Show question, and something's going to go in here. So it turns out the GameMaker has two different kinds of variables. There are numbers, and there are letters. So they are called real numbers, which means it's got a decimal on it. Or it's a series of letters, which is called a string, a string of letters. There are two different kinds of things. Show question requires a string. So in order to signify that, I have to put quotes around it. Turns out you can use double or single quotes as long as you're consistent. Do you want to play again? There we go. So that's the series of letters that it'll show in the box. So just to be clear, the string 3 and the number 3 are utterly different things to GameMaker. It thinks those two things are different. And in fact, you would have to convert back and forth if it came to that. So a weird thing, I have show question in an if statement. What? How does that work? So it turns out that this command, show question, returns true or false depending on which thing was clicked on. In particular, if I go look at that, show question, do to do, pop up message, show question. So, one thing to note here in this description of show question string, it displays a question, returns true if they select yes and false otherwise. So, return something. What that means is this command gets executed. Show question happens, it pops up the little message, and you say yes or no. When it says in the help section, return something, it basically replaces that piece of code with whatever the answer was. So if you said yes, that line of code becomes true. If you said no, that whole line of code there becomes false. So if that is true, I want to do this thing in here. Uh, Something I'm glossing over here is I put in two equal signs. That's true for Java code. GameMaker will let you get away with one equal sign. If you are a Java person, you should remain using two equal signs. So if that question, they say yes, they do want to play again, I should restart the game. I could go look it up, but I happen to remember this one. Game, restart. Restarts the whole game. I don't need an else if statement because if they said, said no, I just want to end the game, which is game underscore end. So this is the if statement I'm checking. If this command equals true, that's either a yes or no answer, it does this command here, game restart. Otherwise, it ends the game. I trust my code not one bit. Let's see if it works. Actually, I do, but you know. Do you want to play again? Yes. Oh, no. It didn't quite work. We have run into a subtlety of GameMaker. What's happening is, is that this command here, room restart, is taking priority over the game restart. 
well, that's not cool. How do we deal with that? So it's kind of a timing issue. Both game restart and room restart are being issued as a command. And it turns out room restart is the one that's winning. So somehow, I need to make sure that this room restart only happens if I have more than zero lives. So I need an if statement around this guy, too. So if lives is greater than zero, I'm going to do this command here. So I'm kind of putting a little guard around that particular section of code. So just to double check that that does work, two, one, zero. Yes, I'm going to play again, and it resets everything. Good. What if I'm like, no, I don't want to play again. I hate your game. No. And it ends. All right. Now, something you're going to see me do pretty soon here is that I'm going to start tabbing things over. So this room restart, since it's in a block of code, I'm going to tab it over. This doesn't have any effect on the code, but what it does do is it makes it easier to read. So I can kind of glance at this code and tell which parts are in the if statement and which parts are not. So every time that you open up a new block of code, if you tab things over, it makes it easier to read. It's a style thing. It it's, has nothing to do with the way the code works. GameMaker doesn't care one bit what you do with tabs. But it will make it easier later on to be able to see what's going on. <clears throat> 